Uh, you mentioned Daniel Jones, and I love the duality that seemingly exists between the personality of this offensive tackle, Evan Neal, that the Giants got, who is just, yeah. I was just blown away by kind of his his temperament. He seems like such a high character guy. He's a no-nonsense sort of guy. I, I really smiled when I kind of watched him interact with his family at the draft. And then you've got this kind of flashy, potential New York personality in Kayvon Thibodeau, who, and both of them are freak athletes, but you talk about an edge yeah. rusher. I mean, in theory, they, they nailed it. Uh, I wonder if you see it that way. I mean, it seems like we are in um, an era of the NFL where it's a quicker turnaround league, where if you get a couple of guys, you know, you yeah. look at Cincinnati, whatever, you can you can hit. Do um, you think that they did enough or they could potentially you know, where they are with those two guys? Yeah, listen, the Giants have had the worst record in the NFL since the infamous boat photo was taken after the end of the season in Miami, and they lost that playoff game in uh, in Washington, I think it was. They have the worst record in the NFL. Uh, under Joe Judge, they were last in almost every offensive category that matters. So, yes, I think that they did. I think they picked the right players in Evan Neal and Kevin Thibodeau. The question now is, do they perform? Uh, and much like uh, anything else we talked about with Zach Wilson, Daniel Jones has to get better. You know, he has the second most uh, turnovers in the league since 2018, and he only came in the league in 2019. So, I mean, like he's, he's, he's turned the ball over a lot. And it's not just the interceptions, just the fumbles. This is, this is the year that Daniel Jones will go down as, oh, guy, we figured it out, we've got our quarterback, or, well, screwed that up with that pick, and we've got to move on. So, it, again, because of the way the game is played, the quarterback is such an important position. And the NFL, if we're just being honest about it, has made the game easier for quarterbacks. You know, you can't hit them high. You can't hit them low. Uh, you hit them at all, you're probably going to get a flag. Uh, and the way that defenses are played, they don't have to worry about a bunch of other things. They've made the, the NFL has made quarterbacking easier than it's ever been. And Daniel Jones needs to understand that and be better at quarterbacking. The Giants picks are great. I love them both. I love a lot of their draft, but if Daniel Jones doesn't get better, we're, we're in that situation where there are two kinds of players that play quarterback. You either have a dude or you have just a guy. And right now, Daniel Jones' meter is leaning towards a jag, just a guy. They got to find a dude. They got to turn him into a dude. 